The Hudson River, two years ago. We had classified intelligence that a new type of metal gear was scheduled for transport. The whole thing stank, but our noses have been out in the cold too long. He's right on schedule. He'll know soon enough. This is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? I'm at the sneak point. Everything going okay? Mm, stealth camo's busted. Landing impact. We must have overused it. Sorry, but you're gonna have to deal with it. You're not in the military anymore. Right. I didn't plan on relying on this gadget anyway. The private sector's not so bad, is it? Privacy guaranteed? I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. You mean that thing with Naomi? And I can't say I miss the chattering nanny. Mei Ling's not so bad. That reminds me, I have to get in touch with her again about that new Natick flashware. Diverting toys from the SSCEN again? Look, give her a message from me. Someone will find out, sooner or later. She's better off assuming it's sooner and quit while she's safe. Too true. Okay, Snake, let's get to work. You know how the technical specs of Metal Gear were sold on the black market after Shadow Moses? 
all Ocelot's doing. Exactly. And now every state, group, and dot-com has its own version of Metal Gear. Not exactly a classified weapon for today's nuclear powers. This new one seems to have been designed to wipe the floor with all the other models. The only consistent description is that it's an amphibious, anti-Metal Gear vehicle. That explains why this one is under Marine Corps jurisdiction. The mission objective is to make visual confirmation of the new Metal Gear being transported by that tanker and bring back photographic evidence. But I want you first to go up to the top level of the infrastructure, to the bridge. We need to find out where the tanker is headed. A little reconnaissance, huh? There's too much we don't know about this new prototype. Capabilities, deployment method, we don't even know how close it is to completion. If we know where the testing arena is, I can start to draw some reasonable conclusions. All right, I'll head to the bridge ASAP. Try to avoid confrontations. Our goal is to collect evidence on Metal Gear development and expose it to the world. It would be best if you could get out of there without alerting anyone. Don't worry, I know the drill. We're not terrorists. Very good. Don't you forget that you're part of philanthropy now, an anti-Metal Gear organization and officially recognized by the UN. Recognized, but still fringe, Otacon. They don't look armed. Hey, Earth to Snake. These are nice, upstanding Marines, not terrorists. Don't get caught. You're in stealth mode here. Sure, and if it comes to that, a little beauty sleep never hurt anyone. By the way, Otacon, are you sure of this intelligence? Absolutely. Hacked it out of the Pentagon's classified files myself. No traces? Oh, please, I'm too good for that. But this might be a trap. Remember, there's a price on our heads. You're just being paranoid. I hope so. Those men... You wouldn't think they were anything but civilians from here. With all the ships passing on the river and in the harbor, putting uniformed marines on the deck would be a bad idea. People can get a clear view of the water from Riverside, too. The water line is too high. According to the navigational plans, this ship should have discharged its cargo upriver. It's in there, no doubt about it. The military trains you to watch for threats from the stern on a boat. That's SOP for counter-terror ops, too. Security should be tighter. You worry too much. Where's the target? Satellite surveillance is a major international pastime these days. I'd say the cargo holds, safely below the deck. Do you see the entrance to the holds? Looks like there are a few entryways into the crew quarters. The chopper. You sure? No marine barber touched that head of hair. I'm transmitting a photo. Let's get an ID on him ASAP. I'm on it. like the tanker's theirs now. K-60 Kasatka. Kasatka? Kamov Chopper, right? Killer Whale. We need to get a fix on who they are. Judging by their transport, aren't they some kind of military commandos? Not necessarily. It could be the K-A-62, the civil model. Look, Snake, 
All we need is the photographic evidence of Metal Gear. As long as we have those, we can put it online and blow the whole thing wide open. So no pyrotechnics, okay? All right. I'll do my best. This isn't like Shadow Moses. Reach me if anything happens. The frequency's 141.12. How can I check in and save my progress? I'll do it. There's a frequency set aside for it. 140.96. Sorry, but no Mei Ling this time. Call me on the codec when you want to save. Got it. I'll be waiting just past the Verrazano Bridge. You need to be off that ship by then. I'll be in touch. Do you want to save, Snake? Snake, you of course know the saying, one for all, all for one. What is this all of a sudden? Oh, I figured you'd need a lot of motivation, so I came prepared. It's from the Three Musketeers. The book, not the candy bar. Anyway, it means that if you go up against everyone by yourself, they'll gang up on you too, I think. Since you're on your own on that ship, you need to take this to heart and avoid confrontations. How was that? Just like the old days, huh? Almost reminds me of Mei Ling. But, you sure you got it right? Of course. And I'll teach you a lot more of these. You can count on it. Great. Who's there? Who's that? Enemy sighted. Requesting backup unit. Understood. Team leader to search team. You are to secure the broadside staircase so I can be.
enemy intruder sighted, send additional personnel. Understood. Bring up unit. Send it to me ASAP. Secure the port side oh. staircase against it. What's going on? Snake! Snake, wait! Don't move! I see it. Some kind of device on both sides of the hall. Infrared sensors? Right. And they're linked to... Let me guess. Semtex. Exactly. Plastic explosives. 
If you trip the sensors, I'll be sleeping with the fishes, along with this entire ship. That sounds about right. Hmm. There aren't that many infrared beams. Maybe you can get past those without setting off the explosives. If you need to see exactly where the beams are, you can use the usual method. There's a fire extinguisher over there. Break it open and try scattering some of the extinguishing chemicals. Snake, did you find out where that ship is headed? No, I'm looking at it. 35 degrees longitude, latitude around 58. More than 500 miles off the coast of the Bermudas, out in the middle of the Atlantic. So the prototype is ready for solo testing. It's basically combat worthy. That area is outside the Second Fleet's operational range, too. It must be a standalone Marine Corps project, which means this prototype Metal Gear must be designed for independent deployment without any naval assistance. Anyway, analysis can wait till later. Snake, you need to go down to the hold to locate the actual metal... Control room, communications and engine room are under control. All entry and exit points to the tanker hold secured. Infrared sensors placed and operational. Good work. Are the explosives in place? Yes, they are all planted. Listen, once we have what we came for, the tanker will be scuttled. And the vehicle's pilot? He's the only one who underwent the VR training. No one else can do it. Are you sure you can trust him? Your part in the mission is complete. You are to leave at once. No, it's not over yet. I can see the moon, even in this storm, pale as 
death. I have a bad feeling about this mission. You swore this to me that you would leave the unit once the mission was complete. Do not worry, this is a country of liberty. No, this is where I belong, with the unit. I have nowhere else to go. Father, I want to stay and fight. There is no choice to make here, Olga. Need I remind you that you are carrying my grandchild? You will be on the helicopter out of here now. Damn it. Freeze! Hands over your head, now! Toss your gun overboard, slowly. A woman. Show your face. You men, you're all the same. Who are you? We are nomads. Wanderers. I said don't move. Americans. So you shoot women, too. I'm a nomad, too. What else do you have there? Take the knife and toss it. Not there. Toss it overboard. Hold that position. Now, turn around. You know what you're doing. <laughs> Not too shabby, is it? New York, I mean. And that brings our tour to its conclusion. Scout knife with a surprise. You a Spetsnaz? I think you deserve a little credit. No one's ever dodged that shot of mine. But no one gets lucky twice, either. I've been with the unit since I was born. I grew up on the battlefield. Conflict and victory were my parents. The unit is my life, my family. We've shared everything, all the bad and all the good. I have no one, nothing except the unit. Nothing else matters to me. Whoever you are, you're not stopping us.
decipher. Otacon, the ship appears to be under their control. The men have Russian gear, but I haven't been able to find out anything else about their origin. I know who they are. You do? We've ID'd the old man. Who is he? Sergei Gerlukovich. Gerlukovich? One of Ocelot's allies? Yeah, the Gru Colonel. He's the one Ocelot was supposed to meet up with after Shadow Moses. They're after Metal Gear. Everything's changed. This is not gonna be as simple as we thought. You could say that. I saw a surveillance remote just now. It looked like the Cypher. A Marine Cypher T? No, Army. First the Marines, then the Russians, now the Army? You're right. This isn't gonna be simple. Snake, there's something I have to tell you. What? We didn't dig up this info about the new Metal Gear on our own. Not like usual. How did you find out then? It was a tip. An anonymous tip. Anonymous? You've never trusted those. Why would you start now? I, uh... I have a younger sister. A stepsister. We have different parents. I only knew her for two years. You've never mentioned her before. So? The sender of the tip was E.E. E.E.? E. E. Her name is Emma, but I always call her E.E. E. Emma? Emmerich? Yeah. It just caught my eye, you know? I, I figured it was a coincidence, but I couldn't get it out of my mind. There's really no one out there who knows about her. When was the last time you saw her? Over ten years ago. You think it's a trap to lure us out here? I don't know. After I got the tip, I did break into the Pentagon system to get confirmation. Okay. Watch your back, Snake. Maybe I screwed up. I've got a light-equipped USP. I can take them on now. There's no ammo, but it takes a 9mm, just like the Marine's M9. I'll find those somewhere around here. Don't raise too much racket with that thing. I hear you. Time to save? Okay, there's a saying that goes, even a bird on high dies a glutton's death, as do the fish of the deeps. The lesson is, uh, don't be greedy. The fish that belonged to a family called the deeps died from overfeeding, and so did a bird that got high on something, probably fermented fruit. Okay, you say so. I do, Snake. Don't take unnecessary risks just because you're greedy for more items. Remember the Deep Family's fish. <sighs>
encountered the enemy requested. Oh, you need to save? Just a... Oh, you're not gonna save? Well, okay. Just let me know when you need to. An intruder! Snake, respond! Snake? Snake!
Time to save? Another Chinese proverb. Those who look to the heavens prosper. Those who defy it are no more. Do you know this one? The meaning here is... Hold on a sec. That you can only survive as long as you're a part of the natural order of things. You remember pre-ripped jeans? Manufacturers thought that just because people loved old, broken-in jeans, they would want to buy new jeans that looked old. So they purposefully... What do jeans have to do with nature and order? Denim should fray and rip on its own, naturally, right? Some designers tried to go against that, and it, no one bought them. The earnings report from that fiscal year is enough of a proof. Earnings? Got one. Everyone, watch your back! Send the replacement guard for the area. Understood. Backup squad to take team. Guard at the galley area.
Time to save? Hey, Snake. What's hardest won, most easily lost? It's time, get it? Amazing how relevant these Chinese proverbs still are. Once the moment's gone, it's gone. Except for daylight savings time, of course. That extra hour to do anything you like with every autumn, gotta love it. Then again, you lose an hour every spring, so I guess the proverbs are right. Wow, they thought of everything. Did they even have daylight savings back then? Of course not. They knew how to save time. We're the ones that need to be tricked into it. Yeah, but you said... The moment never returns, Snake. Let's not waste it on idle questions. Okay. What's that? Hmm? Is there somebody? <laughs>
There's somebody there. It's the enemy. I need help. Oh, you need to save? Just a second. The Chinese have a saying. Those who are lost never question a path, and a drowning man doubts not the shallows. And it means... means that you need to make use of other people's help. Otherwise, you could be in trouble. If you're lost, you don't even know whether a road you come across is a right one. And, uh, what's the difference between shallow and deep if you've already drowned, right? Anyway, the point is that help is always a good thing to accept. So make good use of the codec. Look, this stuff seems nothing like what Mei Ling used to talk about. Hey, she couldn't do better herself. <sighs> There's another set of infrared sensors in place. If you touch that, the explosives will detonate and that ship will be pulverized. I'm not in the mood to go sleep with the fishes, but there are too many sensors. Looks like I'll have to find another way. No need to worry. There's a way through. Take a close look. Do you see the thing with blinking green lights right next to the explosives? That's the control unit for the sensors. Destroy that, and the sensors stop functioning. You can't get in close enough to touch it, so you'll have to shoot it out. 
But the M9's knockout rounds won't work. The USP you picked up should do the trick. Use that gun. Repair of the entrance way to the engine room on the port side is complete. We'll return to position following patrol of the small room on the port side. Hey, Snake, you found a handgun. Yeah, it's a decent one. USP. That gun can take out the infrared sensors you just saw. 
The USP fires real bullets, not the knockout rounds the M9 uses. You know that, right? The USP isn't equipped with a suppressor, either. If you fire it when there are enemies nearby, they'll probably hear it. Keep that in mind. Having the USP will make combat easier, but being undetected is still the best way to go, okay? Arizona Bridge checkpoint passed. All non-essential personnel report to the holds in 10 minutes time for the scheduled briefing session with the Commandant. You are ordered to continue manning your posts until that time. <laughs>
intruder side. Snake, are you bleeding? If your life gauge is down to the point where it's red, the bleeding won't stop. As long as you're bleeding, your life gauge will keep dropping gradually. Besides that, the blood stains could put the enemy on your trail. The only way to stop the bleeding for good is to let your body recover until the life gauge is green. Rations are the best way to do that. Try to crouch down or assume crawl position and stay still while you're bleeding. Your life will recover bit by bit. I'd recommend that you stay in hiding until the bleeding stops, if possible. the stern hatch. Right. The lift is also under our control. We're on the foredeck, about to descend to the holds. Sir, the Marine Commander has started his speech already. We will complete the preparations before the end of the speech. All communications to the holds have been severed. No one is aware of our presence. Let no one down into the holds until we are out. Yes, sir. We will secure your exit with our lives if necessary. Yes, sir. My 
daughter. Keep her safe. Yes, sir. Who's there? Oh, Shalashaska. Why are you here? We thought you were with the Colonel. What the? Snake, are you in yet? Have you made it to the holds? It's taking longer than I expected. We've already passed the Verrazano Bridge. All right, we'll use another recovery point. They may be planning to change course. What? The exits to the deck are all sealed. What are they planning? If they get Metal Gear, we're going right off the fringe. You're all familiar with the Shadow Moses. The men down here are definitely Marines. If the deck is sealed off, they have no way of knowing that the ship's been taken over. I'm not interested in fighting these guys. The weapons won't do me much good here. Can you see Metal Gear? No. I'll have to go around to the bow. They have some serious defenses here. I doubt the recent arrivals want to blast their way through the Marines either. Wonder where they're headed? I don't know. Not the beach, that's for sure. Okay, Snake. Let's go over this one more time. Use this camera to get photographic evidence of the Metal Gear prototype. Now do your thing and take pictures that speak louder than the government's plausible denials. We need four shots. Metal Gear from the front, front right, and front left, and a close-up of the Marine Corps marking. Marking? There should be a Marine's insignia on the body of Metal Gear. Just let someone try explaining away a clear shot of that. 
All right. There's actually one little thing. Just spit it out. I'm used to things going wrong. It looks like someone's monitoring our transmission. Who? I don't have a clue. All they're doing is watching. It would creep me out less if they tried to interfere with our communications. Could it have something to do with that cipher we saw? Maybe. I've switched the encryption protocol for our burst transmission for now. What I want to do is use a different method for sending these photos, just in case. Instead of using the codec? Exactly. There's a workstation in the southeast corner of the block where Metal Gear is housed. I've made arrangements so that you can send the pictures from the machine. Arrangements? I hitched a ride on Link 16 into U.S. military's proprietary network, managed to get into that workstation, and overwrote a part of the system software so I could remote install a little app I wrote. Why bother with anything that complicated? No, it's pretty simple, really. Look, all you have to do is stand in front of the machine and push the action button. The app will automatically launch and download the image data from the camera, split the files, and encrypt them individually. The data packets can then masquerade as... Okay, okay. So all I have to do is push the action button in front of the computer once I have the pictures, right? Well, sure, if you put it that way. And one more thing. The Commandant's already begun his speech, but you need to get the pictures before he's done talking. Otherwise, they'll spot you, okay? How much time do I have? I hacked into his personal files and took a look at the text of that speech. I'd say you have seven more minutes. Longer if he throws in a joke or two. A seven-minute time limit, huh? Remember, Snake, just the photos, okay? With these kinds of odds, I won't be making any sudden moves. But that doesn't mean we can just let Metal Gear be hijacked. Okay, okay, but first the photos. All right, we'll deal with the rest when we get there. Stay low. At the moment... Oh, you need to save? Just a second. Acquaintances agree, friends argue. And that's a straightforward one. The better friends you are, the more openly you can disagree with each other. So feel free to present a counterpoint if you don't agree with what I'm saying. Argue away. Sure, all right. Not a promising start. Okay, forget what I said. Just go along with my advice. Every industrialized nation on the globe knows the specifications for Metal Gear. We're Hundreds, if not thousands, of Metal Gears that exist all over the world are no longer a threat. The blind rush to nuclear proliferation will be contained, and it will be the Marine Corps and our Ray that will accomplish this. This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. Nations building up their own Metal Gear force will think twice about their nuclear strategy in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order. We, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military affairs. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development, but it cannot be more different in nature from the Navy's. Theirs is a program that will add fuel to the uncontrolled fire of nuclear proliferation. It is a fact that players and programs of technology are attempting to derail our own way from it. But I promise you that they will not succeed. Some say that the strategic importance of the aircraft carrier will be reduced by the completion of the 
The opposition from the Navy is an undeniable fact. There is a lot of pressure from Navy brass, especially those with submarine and air background. My greatest wish never to have her or her children experience the horror of nuclear war. As a father, I want to leave a better world for the future generation. As a soldier, I know that is my duty. The National Missile Defense Program was initiated in the end of the 20th century. There was no technological solution in sight, and the program was already attracting strong criticism from Russia and China for its potential violation of the Anti-Ballistic Missile Agreement. The fact that any development in missile defense would trigger accelerated weapons development has been pointed out from the very beginning. Strong criticism from Russia and China for its potential violation of the anti ballistic missile agreement. The fact that any development in missile defense would trigger accelerated weapons development has been pointed out from the very beginning. Snake, you okay? Snake! There was no technological solution in sight, and the program was already attracting strong criticism from Russia and China for its potential violation of the anti-ballistic missile agreement. The fact that any development in missile defense would trigger Snake, you okay? Snake! Snake! There was no technological solution in sight, and the program was already attracting strong criticism from Russia and China for its potential violation of the anti-ballistic missile agreement. The fact that any development in missile defense would trigger... Snake, you okay? Snake! Snake! There was no technological solution in sight, and the program was already attracting strong criticism from Russia and China for its potential violation of the anti-ballistic missile agreement. The fact that any development in missile defense would trigger accelerated weapons development has been pointed out from the very beginning. President Sears forced the NMD proposal through and succeeded in deploying the program. Some say that it was a military interest. Stop kidding around, Snake. Snake! There was no technological solution in sight, and the program was already attracting strong criticism from Russia and China for its potential violation of the anti-ballistic missile agreement. The fact that any development in missile defense would trigger accelerated weapons development has been pointed out from the very beginning. President Sears forced the NMD proposal through and succeeded in deploying the program. Stop kidding around, Snake. Snake! There was no technological solution in sight, and the program was already attracting strong criticism from Russia and China for its potential violation of the anti-ballistic... There was no technological solution in sight, and the program was already attracting strong criticism from Russia and China for its potential violation of the anti-ballistic missile agreement. The fact that any development in missile defense would trigger accelerated weapons development has been pointed out from the very beginning. President Sears forced the NMD proposal through and succeeded in deploying the program. Some say that it was a military interest. 
with plans for the hundred billion dollar program budget that actually arranged for legislative approval. You must be tense. Let's do a little stretching, shall we? Left. Up. You're all familiar with the Shadow Moses incident during the Sears administration. The current state of nuclear proliferation is a direct result of that event. The proliferation and development of Metal Gear technology are about to render agreements like the NVT and Stark obsolete. There are also forces at work trying to exploit this disturbing trend to further their own power and influence. <laughs> The human race is about to slide back into the endless arms race of that last century. And we can not afford to play that Russian roulette again. The Metal Gear race you see is here to prevent that possibility. Former President Sears did also act towards reducing the nuclear stockpile while nurturing the NMD concept. It was he who lowered Stark 3's ceiling for tactical nuclear weapons in order to bring Russia around to approve a revision of the EM treaty. Everyone believed the world was headed for the end of the arms race when Shadow Moses happened. Good. We have intelligence that there are anti-Metal Gear terrorists planning to target the ship. Intruder to the left! Intruder to the right! Intruder in the back! Should that actually happen, I expect you to be prepared. We cannot and will not give the brain. Good. Stay on your guard at all times. To move on, even though the development of Metal Gear Rex is still outside the bounds of official truth, everyone in the international military community knows the facts. Its specs spread across the globe like wild wildfire. Good. The nuclear race is on again. Okay, we're finally there. So, this is the new Metal Gear. Yep. And we're gonna show the whole world its baby pictures. Get the prototype on camera. We need four images. One from the front right, the front, and the front left, and a close-up of the Marines marking on the prototype. Once you have the photos, use the workstation in the southeast end of the area to transmit them over to me. Send me something I can use. I'll explain how to use... Only thing that can reverse its course is this Metal Gear Array. It is an undeniable fact that there is a force at work in our government and within the military, seeking to control national affairs to suit its own interests. Metal Gear Ray bears the burden of confronting this party, thwarting their plans and guiding this nation back, back to its original path. This exercise is but a first step towards that goal. The future of the country. Rest. Good. The brain drain of nuclear specialists and the black market trade and weapons trade, plutonium, has been fueling a cottage industry in nuclear weapons since late last century. Add metal gear to... 
Once you've got the photos, use the workstation in the southeast end of that room to send them over to me. But if they aren't what we need, I'm gonna have to ask you to take another set. Once lived in the shadow of the Doomsday Machine, this Metal Gear Ray can bring other Metal Gears under control and ensure that we never know. We will proceed out of New York Harbor and conduct top secret field testing of Ray. Shadow Moses has turned public. Do not wish to jeopardize the program on the eve of its completion. The disguised oil tanker is a part of our cover. Ray is well worth all these precautions. Mm -hmm. Stop getting around. Snake? Proliferation and development of Metal Gear technology are about to render agreements like the NVT and Stark obsolete. There are also forces at work trying to exploit this disturbing trend to further their own power and influence. The human race is about to slide back into the endless arms race of that last century, and we cannot afford to play that Russian roulette again. The Metal Gear way you see is here to prevent that possibility. Good. Sears did also... Snake, respond! Snake? Snake! The proliferation and development of Metal Gear technology are about to render agreements like the NVT and Stark obsolete. There are also forces at work trying to exploit this disturbing trend to further their own power and influence. Snake, you okay? Snake! Snake! The proliferation and development of Metal Gear technology are about to render agreements like... So, any codec moments from you, Snake? Okay, first up... Oh, I don't think we can use this. What's next? Oh, I don't think we can use this. What's next? This is great! The Marines lettering shows up really well. What's next? You already took a good one of the side lettering. What's next? You already took a good one of the side lettering. The last one is... Okay, that's good. The shot from the right is in the bag. We can use the photos of the right and the insignia, but we're still missing one from the front left and the front. NVT and start obsolete. There are also forces at work trying to exploit this disturbing trend to further their own power and influence. The human race is about to slide back into the endless arms race of that last century. And we cannot afford to play that Russian roulette again. The Metal Gear way you see is here to prevent that possibility. This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. Russians building up their own Metal Gear force will think twice about their nuclear strategy in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. I 
seem to be repeating myself. Chalk it up to old age. Former President Sears did also act towards reducing the nuclear stockpile while nurturing the NMD concept. It was he who lowered Start 3 ceiling for tactical nuclear weapons in order to bring Russia around to approving a revision to the ABM treaty. Everyone believed the world was headed for the end of the arms race when Shadow Moses happened. Even though the development of Metal Gear Rex is still outside the bounds of official truth, Okay, I'm receiving the images. Okay, first up. Oh, I don't think we can use this. The last one is. Okay, this works. It's a great front view. We're okay on the photos from the right, front, and the one of the lettering. The only one we want is of Metal Gear from the front left. I know you can do it. Everyone in the international military community knows the facts. Its specs spread across the globe like wildfire. And the nuclear race is on again. The only thing that can reverse its course is this Metal Gear Ray. It is an undeniable Good. that there is a force at work in our government and within the military seeking to control national affairs to suit its own interests. Metal Gear Ray bears the burden of confronting this party. Good. Thwarting their plans and guiding this nation back to its original path. This exercise is but a first step towards that goal. The future of the country rests with you. The brain drain of nuclear specialists and the black market trade in weapons grade plutonium has been fueling a cottage industry in nuclear weapons since late last century. Add Metal Gear to the mix, and the result is the renewed proliferation you see the world over. We once lived in the shadow of the Doomsday Machine. This Metal Gear Ray can bring other Metal Gears under control and ensure that we never know that fear again. We, the Marines, will be the guardians of this peace. We will proceed out of New York Harbor and conduct top secret field testing of Ray. Shadow Moses has turned public opinion against weapons development. This Okay, I'm receiving the images. Okay, first up. We don't need a shot from the front. You took one already. What's next? You're a pretty good photographer. We can definitely use this left shot. Okay, now we have all the photos. Snake, the speech is about to wind up. Forget the photos and get out of there now. We, the Marines, will lead the charge into a new world order with Metal Gear Ray. That is all. Dismissed. Excellent speech, my friend. Who the? Gift of the silver tongue. They say it's the mark of a good officer. End of a liar. Americans are too in love with the sound of their own voice to speak the truth. Identify yourself. Ah. 
I am Shalashaska, also called Revolver Ocelot. What do you want? This machine will be quite useful. What are you planning to do? Steal this thing? Steal? No, no, I'm taking it back. Nobody move. Understood. This ship now carries enough Simtex on its key structural points to blow it out of the water at the touch of this button. That's right. No one has to die needlessly. On the streets? I was raised in Znezinsk, formerly known as Chelyabinsk 70, the nuclear research outpost. What are you talking about? After the Cold War ended, my home was bought out by the Americans. Is there a point to this sad story? Not you would understand. Land, friends, dignity, all sold to the highest bidder, the United States of America. Even the technology that gave birth to these weapons is Russian, developed by us. What do you intend to do? Russia will rise again. And Ray is the key. I regret to inform you that I have no intention of selling Metal Gear. As I said, I came to take it back. Oh. Yes. Returned to the Patriots. The Lale Nule Lo. How's that possible? Ocelot, you have you sold us out? <laughs> I was never in your employ, Kalukovich. Are you still in league with Solidus? No hard feelings, Colonel. Mother Russia can rot for all I care. Since when, Ocelot? When did you turn? I'm glad you noticed, comrade. I abandoned her during the Cold War. Ah! Metal Gear only has room for one! Lukovich, you and your daughter will die here. Damn you! <laughs> Sergey, 
Looks like you were long overdue for retirement. Hurry, try to stop! Show's over. If you wish to live, I suggest you run now. This ship is still in the lower New York Harbor. You may yet make it to shore if you swim for your life. It's been a while, brother. Who are you? You know who I am. Liquid? Not so young anymore, eh, Snake? You're drowning in time. I know what it's like, brother. No wonder Naomi passed you over for the Fox Dive program. Ah! Ouch! Get out of my, my mind, mind, Liquid! <laughs> of physical prodigy. Few more years and you'll be another dead clone of the old man. Our raw materials are vintage, brother. Big Boss was in his late 50s when they created his copies. But I, I live on through this arm. Liquid law.
Snake! Snake! we discussed. Yes, I have photographic evidence of Snake on the scene. The cipher was most useful. I look forward to tomorrow morning's newsflash. I would say the Marine Corps' plans are on indefinite hold. Yes, of course, Mr. President. Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Of course. Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shell. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark, a symbol of environmental protection. Calling teams Alpha and Bravo. Deploy at the big shell as scheduled. Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad Dead Cell. Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a highly trained group, and they have the big shell under complete control. What makes them think they can get that much? There was a government-sponsored tour going on at the Big Shell that day. Hostages, huh? A VIP from one of the major conservation groups, and one from our own government. The most important person, in a sense. The most important person? James Johnson. The president? Unless the demands are met, the terrorists intend to blow the Big Shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. That's not the worst-case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the bay's ecosystem will be wiped out, and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. 
You have two mission objectives. One, infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. Is this a joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of shell one. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? The lights on the plant struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You are now designated Raiden. All right, Raiden. You've already covered infiltration in VR training. I've completed 300 missions in VR. I feel like some kind of legendary mercenary. Okay, we'll skip that part. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the codec button. When we need to reach you, contact you. The codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the codec button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. All right. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Use that. Sounds good. Your new sneaking suit uses electrofiber technology, a byproduct of fiber optics research. The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit seems appropriate somehow. The hatch with a circular handle will open into the elevator area. Locate the hatch first. Copy that. Moving on to main mission objectives. <laughs> 